We have Senator Becker. He's prepared. Madam Secretary, you may read. Assembly Bill 701 by Assemblymember Lorena Gonzalez, an act relating to employment. Senator Becker. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to present AB 701 by Assemblywoman Gonzalez. And members, I feel honored to represent uh, much of Silicon Valley and the heart of our technology industry. And I've done entrepreneurship in technology since early days of the internet. And that's why exactly I am presenting this bill here today. I know that we can lead with technology that positively advances humanity. And we can do so in a way that does not uh, negatively affect workers' health and safety. But unfortunately, that is not happening today in many of our warehouses. To make next day delivery possible, businesses have forced workers to work faster and risk their own bodies in the process. These companies have created an environment where workers are treated very much like machines. Every day they face increasing work speed and requirements to meet relentless productivity quotas. Just minutes between scanning packages, the system can flag a worker's off task, resulting in automatic discipline and even termination, forcing many workers to neglect basic needs, such as going to the bathroom. Corporations like Amazon are setting the industry standard of what's considered competitive in one of the most physically dangerous jobs in the private sector. Amazon workers are injured on the job at twice the average rate of the overall warehousing industry and three times the rate of all private employers. I've had the opportunity to speak to workers, including longtime friends of mine who've worked in these warehouses and have shared their stories with me. We cannot accept these unsafe working conditions as the new future of work. We we'll allow workers to continue putting their health and safety on the line for corporate profits. AB 701 would make it clear workers could not be disciplined for failing to meet a quota that didn't allow them to comply with existing health and safety laws. Moreover, to ensure workers will not be penalized as off task for complying with basic safety rules or using the bathroom. The bill also creates transparency by requiring the disclosure of quotas and work speed data to workers and to state agencies and establishes protections against retaliation for workers who make complaints related to unsafe quotas. The author has worked with the opposition to address major concerns and has narrowed the bill where appropriate. Among other things, the bill doesn't extend PAGA to any laws or standards not currently covered. This bill is about writing the industry as a whole and reinserting dignity into our innovation. Let's stop the race to the bottom. I respectfully ask for an I vote on AB 701. Thank you. Any further discussion or debate on this item? Any discussion or debate on this item? Hearing and seeing none, Madam Secretary, please call the roll on file item 123. Allen? Aye. Archuleta? Aye. Aye. Atkins? Aye. Aye. Bates? Aye. No. Becker? I Borges, no Bradford, I Caballero, Cortezi, I Daly, no Dodd, no Durazo, I Eggman, Glazer, Gonzalez, I Grove, no Hertzberg, I Hueso, I Hurtado, no Jones. No, Camlogger. I, Laird. I, Leva. I, Limon. I, McGuire. I, Melendez. No, Min. I, Newman. I, Nielsen. No, Ochoa Bogue. No, Pan. I, Portentino. I, Roth. I, Rubio. I, Skinner. I, Stern. Umberg. I, Wykowski. I, Wiener. I, Wilk. No. no. Madam Secretary, please call the absent members. Caballero. I. Eggman. Glazer. Stern. Ayes 26, noes 11. The measure passes.